Welcome to our third webcast in our Q Focus series. Let's take a look back. Out of our BubDeq world, in our first webcast, we saw our drawing module ballooning a uh, drawing. This information about the drawing we have then used in our incoming good inspection module for the inspection planning. We created some characteristics. We have created an uh, order where we have input measured values and we have taken a decision for the order. And the decision was a rejection. And the rejection has created a complaint inside our complaint management. And this information can then be used in the supplier rating here. The third part of our webcast will now focus on the complaint management and the action management. That's the topic for today. Daniel, how do we start with the complaint management now? What's the first thing? We start as usual, opening the open module tab, typing in complaints, and the system gives us all complaints, all catalogs, everything which is connected, and jumping with enter directory into the module. The first row here in this grid is a complaint we've created before out of our incoming goods inspection order. And when I go now deeper inside the complaints management itself, you can see a small tree structure. Yes, information is organized in Baptic upon a tree structure. You have the head information, uh, additional information on a lower level. Um, so what we have here is um, the information regarding the part um, that, was, that has a failure in the inspection. We have the information regarding the supplier, his contact person, his address. And of course we have the additional note from the inspector who created a note uh, while he was um, taking the inspection decision in the end. Okay, okay, one moment. Why is this complaint so huge? Why is this pre-filled? Where the information comes from? The information comes out of the BubTech database and all information is gathered out of all modules uh, we have used before. Inspection planning, the inspection module itself, the system integration uh, that tells me the master data for the supplier. Okay, so this fields here, uh, for example, the delivery node, delivered quantity, purchase order quantity is copied from the incoming goods inspection order to the complaint itself. Yes, correctly. Okay, so it's it's a very, very integration way to work with data, right? Absolutely. This is the general approach in BubTech to let all, yeah, if you want, modules to talk to each other and exchange data in, in between. So as we have seen it in the drawing module, and now we see it from the inspection module to the complaint module. Okay, now I will add a small snippet of information. I go to the failure information here. And you can see the damage is also copied from the incoming goods inspection to the complaint itself. And now I will add a small image here to show the supplier in detail what is wrong with the delivery part. And for this I have the functionality to create a live picture. Now I take my small USB camera Focus on the part here, where it is. Yeah, we know the camera, so you should have now good skills to make a sharp picture. Yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. Yeah, now I can use this picture and add some more information yeah, using the graphical tools here. For example, to say, okay, dear supplier, take a look here. This is the problem I'm complaining to you. Okay, now let's use this information to inform the supplier about this complaint. Yes, let's do it, because now we have all necessary information that is needed to create a supplier complaint and connect to your supplier and exchange your data. Um, of course, there are several ways to contact your supplier. Um, the old school way would be just print it out and send an email, um, but today we want to show you a new approach how to share supplier data and supplier complaints. And the new approach is to send this AD report into the platform Bubtech Cube. Now I, I mark this failure to send to the Bubtech Cube, apply this, and now in the background 
there's a transfer. I can show you this in my synchronization panel. You see here the complaint is sending. We have a successful sending. And now this snippet of information is transferred, right? Yes, correct. And SSL encrypted, of course. Directly. So no email, no attachment. No breach of the media, of course. No Just security issue. No problem. Oh, that sounds great. Yes, absolutely. And, and how does the supplier now receive this information? The supplier only needs a web browser, Chrome, Firefox, no matter what, every common web browser is capable of displaying our Cube platform, which is a website, of course, and we see it as a communication platform that allows you to, to interact with your business partners. Is it your customer or supplier? Um, that makes no difference. So when you talk about the website, It's no matter what device, right? Yes, absolutely. That comes on top. So you can use it with your notebook, with your tablet. Um, I have a tablet with me, so let's have a look. Okay, here we are. Um, I opened the Babtech website and I, as supplier, have a small dashboard where I can see my current actions. So in here is one new customer complaint um, that just came from you, right? Mm -hmm. So um, let's have a look into the customer complaint. Here is my customer complaint. It is the dimensional error damage you have captured in your um, inspection. So let's open it and see. Here is your beautiful, almost sharp okay, slightly picture. Okay, beautiful, real right. <laughs> yes, okay. But I guess it's okay for me. So let's take this into process. And. Here, the supplier has a guided 8D format um, process. So you can run through all steps of 8D and create the problem description, the containment tasks, or the cost analysis. So let's create a small problem description. Uh, I had no active incoming goods inspect, no, no active outcoming goods inspection, of course. Um, that's why. The failure was created. Which you, that's why you received a wrong item, mm -hmm. a containment task. So maybe you need the goods immediately. So I would resend you the goods directly. Let's take it today. Yes, I want to tell you that I will do it. Checkbox here. So what's about the small checkbox send? What's behind this? The checkbox is there because we allow the supplier also to manage his complaints directly on the platform. And he has to actively share that information with you as a customer. So maybe he has some internal um, actions he plan or some internal cause analysis. He don't want to share right now with you. So he can use the cube without Babtech software to manage his complaints here. Okay, so the supplier has the full control over his data and which of his data should be sent to the customer, right? Yes, absolutely correct. Okay. Now, when I want to, to add some documents, how does this work? Uh, you can add documents based on a, a SharePoint or some, some share, or we can even just make a photo of my um, order um, document here mm -hmm. to send it to you. So let's, let's add a picture here. Document, take a picture. So here is my order document I will share with you. So hopefully sharper than your picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's easy. <laughs> so yeah, use the picture. Okay, so of course here also, yes, I want to share the picture with you. So tick the checkbox and my feedback. So dear Lars, here is my, here is my, feedback and then it goes back to you now switch back to the Babtech software as you can see here the feedback from Daniel gets downloaded now you see receiving receiving perfect successful so the information is now imported from the platform Babtech cube to the Babtech software so again no email no attachments Let's take a look inside the complaint management itself. Now I switch back to the complaint management inside our Babtech Q system, open the complaint, open the tree view. 
And you see here, there's a new record inside the database. Yeah? You see here, it's the immediate action of the supplier. And the immediate action of the supplier is the replacement. Mm -hmm. well, I have some information about the note. Well, that's the free text you entered. I have the documents here. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a picture Daniel has taken with the iPad. And of course, if I go on the level of the failure, I have the problem description. There's no active outgoing goods inspection here. And I think that's the smartest way to work on the same data. So there's no email, no attachment. Every information you share as a supplier to me is inside my Babtech database. Yes. So it's ready for analysis later, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Now we have saw the external sharing of information. What's, what's about the internal sharing information? Um, maybe I want to, to give the information to someone that there's something to do connected yeah, to the you're complaint. talking about internal actions, for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah. So maybe this supplier complaint um, results in some, let's say, a new audit. So supplier is faulty, so let's do a new audit mm -hmm, mm -hmm, for, mm -hmm, for this mm -hmm. supplier. To plan this, I can create a new action inside the complaint management itself. Yeah, it's a manual way here. Say new action. That's the catalog of your new actions here, plan audit again, and inside the action management I assign it to Katrin and she has time to the end of this month and I will add a sh short note here to say please take a look to the outgoing goods inspection. Oh, that's a missing E. Save this. And now this action is saved into our centralized action management. And what now happens is that um, our system notifies Katrin by email. So therefore we just have a quick look into our email system. And um, Katrin will receive an email with information regarding um, the origin of this action. So that means in this case, it is based on a supplier complaint. It, it has all supplier master data in it. And she now can react on two ways for this complaint. So she firstly can click on the link below, which is called Babtech Q. Um, and she can jump directly in the software and work on the complaint and on the action in the software. But maybe she's not a Babtech user, has no local installation maybe. Uh, then she can use the second link, which is the queue manager. This is a browser-based approach to react to action and tasks within Babtech. Which browser should be installed for this? Every common browser is working with the queue manager, so there is no limitation for it. Okay, so Katrin will log into the queue manager with the same credentials she uses for the BabTech queue. Yes, right? the user management is absolutely the same as in BabTech queue. And now, Katrin, see all the information we have maintained in the BabTech software. Now you, you can see here the plan audit again. You see the small note here. Now please take a look for the outgoing good inspection and so on. Without any Bubtech software, without any licenses, yeah, remember this, it's a browser-based approach. And the browser-based approach can also be used to take a look at the complaint. So inside the action, there's a link, and this link opens the complaint itself. Yeah, you see here the case for the supplier, you see here the article inside the complaint. So all the information you normally only can see inside the Babtech software can be displayed license-free. Now, for example, this report here with the picture. Very nice. Looks quite similar to the AD report we offer directly in Babtech. Yeah, correct. Yeah, the state of failure, it's a yes. report here. Now, Katrin will add some information. Yeah. She says, okay, here she says, okay, 
I'm ready. Everything is fine. That's this one. Okay, now save this. And Katrin has a small button here to complete the action. It, she can sign this electronically, save this information, and so Katrin is ready. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, every action in BobTech needs to be completed and needs to be reviewed. So there is a second step now to do. And as Lars is logged in as system administrator or ad administrator, he can acknowledge then the review of these tasks directly in BobTech. So it's a standard functionality here to verify the action, to review this. And after this click, the action is closed and cannot be modified or something like this. So of course there is more than just supplier complaint. Um, besides supplier complaint, you can create internal complaints like NCRs or even customer complaints. Um, we added additionally a functionality to allow, that allows you to connect customer complaints directly to supplier complaints, to have a history of the development of a complaint. During this complaint process, there are different tools to add information, like the Ishikawa or the 5Y. So Bobtech supports you during your problem-solving process and you can add information and using it, for example, in our report designer to print or to create PDFs out of your Bobtech system. And even complaints have different origins. So that means you can, of course, create a complaint directly in Bobtech. You can create a complaint in the cube we've just seen here on the iPad. Um, and you can create a complaint in the queue manager, which was the browser-based approach we yeah. showed you before. And of course, you can create complaints in a completely different business system, like, for example, in your ERP system. And then you can use the system integration to our system to transfer all necessary complaint information directly to Bobtech. Regarding the integration part, there's another functionality that you can use. You have the option to import some information from your complaint management to your FMEA. So in your FMEA, there's an option to import the failure, the cause and the causer. And because you have done already a small FMEA inside your complaint management. And the smart thing is, that these data will be will be stay connected. So inside your FMEA, you have a link. You can click on the link, and the system will lead you directly to the connected complaint management. Quite smart. Yeah, I think so. So this was the third part of our webcast of our Q Focus series. We have saw the complaint management and the action management. There's another part, the fourth part, where we use all the information here in our supplier ratings. Maybe take a look. At this time, thanks for watching and stay healthy.